Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna walk you through how to use our designer feature when ordering our Supercolor transfers. So we're gonna be on our homepage here. We're gonna go over to our custom transfers tab and then you're gonna click on our Supercolor designer. This is gonna be the homepage of our designer. So if you guys are new to Supercolor and aren't sure which one you want, you're gonna to wanna to click on any of these guys here. That's gonna be a product page that'll give you all the information you need. And then if you already know what you want, you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna pick the type you want. So today we're just gonna go over wearables. So you're gonna click wearables. All right, and then here's where you're gonna pick your sheet size. So today for the purposes, let's just pick a four by four. You're gonna hit design now. All right, so this is the fun part. This is where if you have artwork you already have, just upload it and size it. Or there's a really fun feature that we have stock designs that you guys can use and change, modify, it's really fun. So we'll click add art here. As you can see, there's tons of different categories. So let's go with athletic department. Let's go with Fremont Athletics. Okay, so I have my Fremont Athletics loaded. Now this is the really cool part of this designer feature is anything can be changed. You can change text, color, size, anything like that. So we're gonna just change the color real quick. I'm just gonna change this to a green so you can see that. And then I'm gonna change this to Fargo because that's where we are. And maybe let's change this to football, F for football, right? Okay, so that's perfect. It's exactly what I want but you know, I want it a little bit bigger. There we go, highlight over all of it. And this is where you have the chance to change. What's really nice if you guys are noticing is when I highlight over all of it, it's gonna move it all proportionally. So you don't have to worry about it being stretched or look kind of crazy. So if I want like that, you don't wanna go past the red line. The red line here is gonna be cut off. That's kind of where your sheet line would be. So you see we're on the four by four. So me going over this, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. So just right to that edge. So I know it's a four inch wide transfer. So I like how that looks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit next step. And then this is where you're gonna tell us how many you need. So we do have a minimum of 10. So when you'll see this here, once we hit 10, that little notice will go away. Perfect. Now we'll hit view summary. Looks good. Okay, now this part here is where you're gonna need to tell us what color garment it's going on, what type, and if this is a reorder, what the order number was from your previous. So in this case, it is, I'm gonna go on, we did wearables, so it's gonna be, we're gonna put this on a gray, and I'm just gonna say cotton, and I'm gonna leave the rest blank because it's not a reorder. If it was a reorder, you're gonna wanna put your order number in there. But since it's not, it's brand new, we'll just hit add to cart. So another feature we have in the designer is gonna be when you're uploading an image, specifically a design that has a white background on it. So you can see here, this is gonna tell you all the different file types you can upload in from your own artwork. You'll see the max, uh, the max design size is gonna be 25 megabytes for anybody who needs to know that. Okay, so let's go find an image here. So it's opening up, you can see it's a JPEG with that letter there. Okay, so this is what's really cool is you can now take off white backgrounds. So you see remove white background, remove all white, click on it, boom, there you go. If you wanted for some reason, if you didn't wanna have the white inside those cats, let's try that. See that, you can see the checkered background, so you can see the white was taken out, but we wanna keep those guys. White, so we'll just take off the white background and hit continue. And this is also if you really wanted to modify the colors of it, but I'm gonna keep it full color. If for some reason you wanna change it to different ones, absolutely, this is the option there to do it. Hit finish. Awesome, I'm gonna resize it a little smaller. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add some text. So I liked how that looks, we'll hit add text. All right, and you see it kind of instantly pops up there, but you'll type up here, Let's just say cool cats. And then there's a whole font library you guys can choose from as well. So you'll see the different kind of categorizes them for you there. So we're gonna go into curly, see what we got there. If you guys did want to not move it proportionally, you can drag it by here to make things taller or even wider this way too. I just always like to use the arrow, keep it proportional. That way you don't have to ever worry about something being stretched out. Okay, and if you notice when I'm moving this, you see that red line that shows up in the middle of the screen? That's showing me it's centered on my sheet. So same thing, let's check out these cats. Yep, 
and centering it there. So that's a really nice feature that helps you line things up, especially if you're gonna be really creative in this design tool feature. So I'm gonna change the color of this Cool Cats text to a yellow to kind of match their little accents they got there. We'll hit done. I'm all done with my Cool Cats design, so then if I'm ready to check out and add it to my cart, I'll just hit next step and follow it all the way through. All right, so I am done shopping. I am ready to check out. I'm gonna scroll up here click on my cart, double check that's all right, yep, and then you'll begin the checkout process. That wraps up using our designer feature for our super color transfers. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos, give us a like, let us know in the comments below if you guys wanna see more in-depth videos on this kind of topic, and we'll see you guys next time.